old forge and I've been having to sit out here in storage on our side yard and I think I finally found a good way to move it because before as you know I was using that um, gardening cart but now we got a little dolly so we can just pick this thing up and take it to where we're going to melt some metal so it's gonna be much easier than before all right we are all ready to begin we got our stone stuff put up um really shittily but it's put up um got the leaf blow and everything ready um i got the can and stuff all this and what i'm hoping to uh do today is make liquid metal because last time my goal was to melt the metal i did melt it but then I couldn't keep a sustained temperature, so it cooled back down and never really turned into like a liquid um, cup of metal. So that's what we are going for today. And yeah, I'm gonna start in a bit once uh, some friends come over, because they were pretty interested in this. And yeah, I hope that the wind doesn't pick up and smoke doesn't go over into either of her neighbor's yards and just either hits our house or goes straight up into the tree. And yeah. Alrighty, here we go. Come on. There we go. I also spilled some up here, so I'm just gonna make sure that all burns off. And there we go, we got a nice little fire going. I put a little bit too much lighter fluid on it, but now it'll all burn off. And all we gotta do now is just wait for those coals to get nice and hot. And then we can turn on the leaf blower and start melting. Those nice coals in there. And you may be thinking that this is all overkill because there's so many coals. Trust me, it is not. There's 10 times as much oxygen going in there. And so it burns through it roughly about 10 times as fast. So, uh, this this will be, once I turn the thing on, it'll go through all of this in just a matter of, like, 20 minutes or something. And, uh, yeah, it is, it's amazing how much fuel this thing goes through. So, it's been about 20 minutes, and this is how much it's gone through. And as you can see, the big Izzy can has deflated into whatever that is. So we're gonna put some more fuel in and then crank it back up. And it is extremely hot. All right, I just put another Izzy can in there and loaded it up and I'm gonna start up again. See, this thing went from 80 degrees, the outside temperature of it, to about 400 in uh, about six minutes. So, or really about every five minutes. So, it's, it's heating about 80 degrees a minute, which is insane. Much closer because it looks like the paint has uh, caught on fire. Uh, I'll just take a quick temperature reading. Um, uh, it is about 700, 700 ish degrees. So that is pretty damn hot. And that's on the outside. I can't imagine how hot it is on the inside. And yeah, the paint's catching on fire. Putting more uh, coals in. I uh, did the temperature uh, pretty close to the, like where the things were melting. And it was between 900 and 1,000 degrees. Um, and it lost about 200 to 250 degrees. I noticed uh, when I opened it, so I can say that it got uh, over 100, like over 1200 degrees, which is more than the melting point of metal, of uh, aluminum. Because the melting point of aluminum is uh, 1221 degrees, I believe. So it's damn hot in there. Ow, I can't get too close to it. When I first opened it up, I kind of felt like somebody splashed boiling water on my face. It is so hot. 
All right, so it's just about over. Um, I used an entire large bag of charcoal, and now the outside temperature is about 600-ish degrees, uh, which is 150 degrees less from its uh, one, 750 to 800 degree uh, kind of max range of heat. So this top rock that I was using to keep this whole thing shut because the uh, metal warps as it gets hot is 300 degrees. So I kind of have to kick it off instead of actually touch it. And in case you don't know how I open it, if I can find my little thing, uh, is I kind of do it like that. And it is extremely hot. Ooh. And these things are starting to kind of right. come off and all the pain is, Wait, Neil, you, you know, just yeah. kind of coming off. The whole thing is basically falling apart. So, you know, that's, uh, that's something that's cool. Um, ow, God, it's hot. Um, I'm doing this with my bare hands. So this is about 700 degrees, quickly cooling off. So it was probably 800 when I first opened it off. Ow. I have to go get my gloves. Um, and then this area is about 900 to 1,000 degrees with about 1,000 degree heat coming off of it. So it's understandable why my hands really hurt when I go near them. And yeah, I'll, in a minute here, I'm going to take it out and dump in some water. Also, ex-editor oh, and cameraman is here. Out. pretty cool so uh that happened when i took it out of the water interesting i was re-inspecting my little um leaf blower thing and bits of it are warped and i think it caught on fire because one of the times uh i went to go get a soda and i thought i saw a little thing of fire come out but when i inspected it, i didn't anything happening but uh yeah my my leaf blower thing caught on fire which is new because before um the air going in would keep the whole thing cool but i guess it just doesn't do that now it's still about 900 to a thousand degrees uh and this is kind of what happens when you drop one in it, it pretty much immediately catches on fire that one didn't really catch on fire just Here, charred but Sometimes when you drop them in, they'll just catch on fire. Or the one that I put on top is completely soaked and now it's kind of like a raisin. Here, let me put this one. Alright, throw it in. No, I'm fine. There we go. Yeah. So that's, that's how hot it is if you were to stick your hand in there. And all my stones broke. So you can see this one here. Um, that broke... Uh, before, I, th I think before I even, uh, you know, cooled it down and sprayed it down. That one broke after I sprayed it down. And this one, I actually got out, put it like that, it was totally fine. And then when I cleaned out all the disgusting sludge and stuff that was in here, I turned around to put that thing back in, and it was broken in half. So, this may be one of the last videos involving the forge. Which is sad, but I, I, I didn't think that it'd be um, 
this strong and this will make, or this um, well at crayon heat. So, sad, but yeah. Alrighty, so I just got done cleaning up. Um, it is about seven o'clock. I started this at about three, so it's been, you know, three and a half, four hours. Um, there's some, a little bit of burnt concrete and, um, burnt, uh, grass and nothing touched it. It was just from the heat coming off of it. Um, and this took a lot of effort. Um, it broke my little, uh, thing. We, we did get some solid pieces of metal here. From all that, I put, especially this one, um, I put, and this one too, um, and I put, uh, what was it? Uh, five soda cans, like, uh, Coca-Cola cans, and three Izzy cans, and they all kind of fell apart when I threw them in the water. They're all together in like kind of a heap of uh, molten metal. And once I poured it in, they all just kind of exploded out from each other. And the can broke and it actually broke inside of it because as it was cleaning it out and getting all the ashes out, I found pieces of molten metal like this one. This is the best example I could find. Um, a molten metal just floating, floating around pretty much in the... Um, the ash so I I each time I've been able to melt metal but I know this time for sure that I had liquid metal at the bottom or like inside of it because before I knew that it was melting because it would deform and uh, fuse together but this time it actually like was there was liquid stuff in there I used a whole bag of charcoals um, and it, it did a number on everything, so I think this is probably going to be the last one. But in the future, I hope to get to the point where I can just, uh, you know, get, like, large, large things of molten, dripping metal um, in a can or something like that. And this video took a lot of time, a lot of effort, and I know I've been getting a lot of views on some of my videos, so please make sure to subscribe and you know like it if you like it dislike it if you dislike it and yeah and bye